Hi everyone, I'm News 8 meteorologist Liam Healy just with an update on our aurora potential for tonight, Friday, May 10th into Saturday, May 11th. There is a very good chance that a lot of the United States and even out through parts of Europe and further down south than really in a long time, people could see the aurora tonight as a strong geomagnetic storm is forecast, a G4 out of G5. These do not come around very often. And it's really as we start to get into this very active part of our solar cycle, a very normal part of the sun's activity, that we start to get into these pretty opportune chances to see the aurora about every decade or so. And this is one of those chances where we have several, what we call CMEs, or as Chief Meteorologist Eric Snyder refers to them, sunburps heading towards Earth right now. And the more of those CMEs or those sunburps that you begin to see, the better chance we have the have to see the aurora here across western New York. Now, of course, it is western New York, so there are a few things that we do need to keep in mind. Yes, we have very good potential for a strong aurora, and especially one that can reach further south than normal with this potential G4 storm. But we do have to deal with some cloud cover as we begin to get into tonight. And a lot of that has to do with the clouds that we're seeing right now and the rain that we're seeing right now from this system passing off to our south. We do have some showers around. We have clouds around. Particularly what we're going to be interested in, I would say, is going to be what's kind of going on out here along the edge of this. Because this main system is going to start to pull away as the day goes on. But what's going to be left is this kind of overarching band of clouds that is kind of forming on the northern edge or the periphery of this. And that's probably what's going to end up causing us, I would say, the most issues tonight. So let's take a look at future view. We're going to jump this out to 7 o'clock. So now our system has begun to pull its way out to the west, sorry, out to the east, and it's starting to move away from us. But we still kind of have that periphery of clouds that's kind of hanging out here towards Canada, up by Toronto, and up over the lake. And remember, the really important thing about when you're looking at the eclipse tonight, not the eclipse tonight, the aurora tonight, is that you're going to be thinking, well, you need to look north. Because especially if this is weaker than expected, you're going to need to be looking up towards the northern horizon. So if you have clouds up to your north as we get past sunset and into tonight, that's when we could be running into some issues about viewing this. Now, this is around 2 a.m. Midnight's going to be fairly similar up along the shoreline of Lake Ontario, which where I'm sure a lot of people are going to be up over the lake, it does look like there is going to be some lingering cloud cover. Now, it's a big determination of are these low clouds, are these mid-level clouds, or are these high clouds? Because just like when we were talking about the eclipse, it's very dependent on what type of cloud you're seeing on whether or not you're going to be able to look through or not. I do think that for the most part, generally these are going to be lower clouds, which will be harder to see. Now, this one particular weather model does have a lot of clearing out here through parts of West New York. I'm not completely convinced that it's going to be downright clear. I think the forecast has trended a little bit in our favor, but I do think that we need to take this with a bit of a grain of salt and be mindful that there may still be more cloud cover present than ultimately what's being displayed here. I do think that this is a better looking forecast than what we saw yesterday, but still, it's Western New York. Just be mindful. But what I will say to you is have a plan ready to go. Know a place that's very dark away from city lights and a good place that has an unobstructed view to the north. You have no trees in your way, no hills in your way, no houses in your way. You can look straight up to the north, and that's where you're going to want to look tonight to see the aurora. And just keep an eye on those clouds and make sure you have a way to check the clouds. The News 8 app has some satellite capabilities, and there's a lot of other ways that you can check it out. But I think that there's a really good potential to see a show tonight, and that's kind of where our head's at right now. Things are still on track with the aurora, but of course it's very fickle. It can change. We've been have these speed up, slow down before, and be faster or slower than we thought they were because space weather is that much harder to protect than our even terrestrial weather back here on the ground. So we'll keep you updated and keep an eye to our socials for updates on it throughout the rest of today.